Ladies and gentlemen, karibu kwa channel hii ya Rogers Kakasungura. Na nataka nizungumzie jambo moja hapa. Kisha baadaye ni kunje chamvi niende kupumzika hadi kesho. kama kiongozi kama wewe unataka kuwa kiongozi ambaye anaendelea katika utawala wako jambo la kwanza listen to the voice of the majority if you want to be a successful leader first Don't be all knowing. At one point, even if you are right, listen to the voice of the majority. If you blindly go against the voice of the people, you are bound to collapse. Yes. You know As I always say leadership is not an opportunity but a privilege to better the lives of the people who have trusted you with a position either you are a class monitor either you are a village elder either you are an MCA either you are a member of parliament either you are a president that office is not an opportunity it is a privilege the voice of the people you know pastor Ezekiel of new life church in mavweni is on record clearly warning william root i'm telling kenyans Kuna nyangao inakuja. That's the term we used. Those who have watched that clip. Ezekiel is saying, Kuna nyangao inakuja na mutalia. Mm. And that nyangao is evident. It's out to terrorize the flock. The ship right now is in the forest. They are there grazing with no shepherd. And now <laughs> the person who was supposed to be a shepherd has suddenly turned out to be a hyena. So instead of Tending the flock the hyena is siphoning blood from the flock ladies and gentlemen the people of western have spoken their voice seth panyako comes from the west he resigned from uda and categorically listed reasons why he is walking out of uda Now the people of western have gathered together and they have spoken in one voice and they are warning the president I like the way they are articulating issues they are saying William Ruto we respect you We will be even proud of welcoming you to our area. But then we want to warn you the president. <laughs> Listen. Mambo ya sukari wachana nayo. Because all we want as the people of Western 
uende state house ubebe mashini ya sukari utulete hapa that's the time we respect you number two. the taxes you are imposing we are not going to support it whether you like it or not the members of parliament can pass it if they want but then as the citizens of this republic we have pronounced ourselves in a language that each and every citizen understands let them pass it to kotana 2027 And I know what is making happy or what is exciting members of parliament to pass the bill is the exemption of public office holders not to be prosecuted in case of the mismanagement of public resources. I know that's why members of parliament are pushing for this. The one that pass wakule wa meza CDF mukiangalia na macho. That is what they want and nothing else. They are not taking into account critical sections that directly affect the wanjiku. They just want to feed their stomachs and go home. Period. Of course they are able to afford the 3% housing levy they can do it. Wanataka wakikula CDF they walk scot free. That is the freedom that Kenya Kwanza was referring to during the campaigns. Before I release a terrifying warning from the people of Western I have my final remarks to make. Kenyans, it is dawning to us. And I have told you this severally. In politics, personal interests comes number one before the wanjiku is looked at. In this case, the finance bill The members of parliament their interest comes first wasishikwe in case of a mismanagement of public resources that is their welfare they have to grab it first before they think about the 16% vat on petroleum before they think the imposed tax on data bundles and mobile phones before they think about the imposed tax on small scale traders their interest their welfare comes first now i want you to listen the wisdom from msalam davadi's region get the wisdom from the speaker of the national assembly's area Moses wetangura Nataka mchukue wakati Wakati wenu mzuri Najua sasa mshakura vizuri Kaa kitako Sikiliza Haya maneno yanatoka kwa watu wa Msalimu Davadi na Moses wetangura Musikilize vizuri Na mimi ningependa kuambia makaunti zote tafatari Mfuate mkondo Tuongee kwa sauti moja. Umesikia ama nataka usikilize. Huyu mzee vile anasema. Huyu kiongozi anataja maneno muhimu. Sikiliza tafadhali. Kaunti sote tufuate mkondo. Tusimame kidete tuambie viongozi kama hamuta tutetea pale bunge. Sisi tunaenda kuwatoa mpio 2027. Tusimame kidete kwa nini? Tunaenda kuumia hapa mbele. Sisi kama wa Kenya, tunaenda kukufa. Wabunge wanataka wasishikwe wakikula CTF. Lakini wewe unaenda kulipa pay kubwa ukinunua mapati, ukinunua nyama, 
ukinunua simu ukiweka data ukienda hata kujenga nyumba yako nyumbani hata pipi unaenda kumlipia kila mwezi kwa hivyo ni wakati tusimame pamoja kama wa Kenya tuseme tumekataa na tumechoka hebu tusikilize hawa watu wa ingo vile wanasema zoyana resist abele siachi mimi kwa watu wote nilikuwa kwanza kusema mheshimiwa Ruto ulituambia wewe ndio fundi wa viwanda wewe ndio utalete mashini mpya utoe madeni nzoya nikamwambia hiyo ndio mambo tunataka peke yake eh hey, hata wakati tuita state house nikasema state house yend kufanya nini msimamo wangu ni tuletee mashini mpya utoe madeni zakarika leo na mheshimiwa rais hiyo ndio tunangoja siku utatu, utakuja zoya mimi nitakuja kukukaribisha zoya kama umekuja na kiwanda kama umekuja kufutulia mbali madeni hiyo yote sekarika leo bado mimi nataka kuonya hii serikali yako na ile makateli natumia mumiasi ilikuwa imeanza kutoa moshi wakaenda kotini sasa makatel imekuja imeshika wana imeshika watu wa koti judges ati wanasema wanafunga tena mumiasi tutaingia huko kwa fujo tutaingia mumiasi na lazima mumiasi ifunguke waacha kutuumiza kuliko vile tulikuwa ulipata kama mumiasi nafanya kazi waacha mumiasi yamuke mheshimiwa rais wachana na mumiasi sugar company wachana nayo kama utaki kutusaidia wachana na sisi tutapata wakati mmoja mtu mwingine akuja na huruma asaidie waluya hatuwezi kubali vile tunaongea hivi watu wetu hawezi andikwa kazi wanafutwa kiholela kina matilda nani wamefutwa kina muteshi wamefutwa immigration wamefutwa sisi watu wetu hawezi andikwa anywhere lakini nafasi ikipatikana hapa wanaweka wakale nje umeweka wakale nje kila mahali mimi sio mkabila sina shida na wakale nje lakini jua Kenya ina makabila 43 ukiangalia all parasatels under energy ni wakale nje ukiangalia Kenya power kale nje ukiangalia jua tamo kale nje ukiangalia pipeline kale nje ukiangalia Kenya Port Authority kale nje ukiangalia Kenya Airport Authority kale nje saa hii ukiangalia Nzoya Sugar Company kale nje na sisi watu wetu watafanya kazi wapi wao wakati professor Hiro alikuwa akwe vice chancellor alifukuza Moi University alifukuza magavana wawili magavana wako Mandago yeah. na Talgos yes walienda wakafukuza yeah. Airo kama mbwa sana wakasema itakuwaje muluya akuwa vice chancellor 